All right, guys, welcome to today's episode. I think we're now on episode three of removing the 3.8. Today, we're going to start with removing the fuel lines. We went to AutoZone to purchase this new tool, which Andrew has. It does four sizes, and uh, my old one only did two very small sizes. So that's what we're going to start with today. All right, we've got the fuel lines connected now. I highly recommend you putting a paper towel underneath because gas will come out of them. So, oh, he's turned the music up. <laughs> so we're having trouble disconnecting the high pressure air conditioning line. So we're gonna break this one as well. Oh, there we go. All right, both the air conditioning lines are loose. All right, so we're on the other side of the engine now. So we're trying to disconnect the last power steering pump line. Oh, there it is, it's that bolt right there in the center of the screen. We'll see how that goes. I worry slightly. Well, the good news is Andrew broke that bolt free. The bad news is he's injured himself. Okay, I finished unscrewing the last power steering pump line, which is very good. It was not easy to get out by any means. Andrew is busy recovering, and we're moving along well. Okay, now I have a little bit of a side project, and that's to assemble my engine stand. Well, here's the start of the engine stand. Obviously, I'm assembling my Harbor Freight engine stand with my Harbor Freight wrenches, so that's going well. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with the build quality right off the bat. Should be able to hold the 3.8. Oh! Oh no! The diary one! Oh my god. I need to really clean that up. Uh, but the good news... <laughs> The uh, good news is we have the Harbor Freight engine stand together, and it looks pretty quality. Um, all the bolts and everything fit together, and we had all the correct pieces, so that's pretty good for Harbor Freight. Alright, so it turns out this cable here is the clutch cable, and we're going to disconnect that later. Right now, we've jacked the car up, and I'm going to cut off the the cats in the middle right there so that's disconnected because the bolts are looking extra tragic just don't kill yourself with the spark. the lights have dimmed slightly <laughs> <laughs> where are you hitting it at? right there I'm not sure where the sparks are going to shoot I'll just give it a try for a second Well, we have a setback. The drill master blade has been murdered, and unfortunately we don't have the little tool to disconnect it, and Harbor Freight is now closed. So, we ended up going to Lowe's to purchase some new wrenches to take off the drivetrain bolts. We bought these uh, quality looking cobalt ones that have 12 points, so hopefully we don't strip the bolts. Well, good news. Andrew rigged up a way to change the blade, so we've got a new blade on the drill master. Alright, we're going to try to get the first drivetrain bolt off. We've jacked up all four corners now. So, oh, that's an injury. So here's the uh, drivetrain, and uh, we've got the cobalt wrench on there, which is very quality, but unfortunately, uh, we can't get it off just like that. So we're going to try out a sketchy method. Oh 
my god. What? I think they got it. Hang on. Good. Should be good. Okay. Hang on. All right. Uh, there we go. Perfect. That one went quite easy. Okay. Let me position the. Oh no! I don't want that to come out completely. Here, no. just move the jack. I'll push to the ground now. Oh, it's actually not that heavy. Oh, it isn't? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. There. Stupid thing. No, these go in here and this turns around and that spins the wheels. This whole thing turns? Yeah. Oh, your parking brake sucks. Well, yes, because I burnt it. <laughs> Hang on. Nope. Oh, I don't think it's that heavy. I bet I can just pick it up, lift it. Oh no! Very close. Oh, oh. Right. oh no! I think that's transmission fluid. <laughs> We've had nothing to catch it. Oh god! Save the squishy thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> God, that's gone wrong. <laughs> now there's m Oh god, all right, cut. All right, as you saw in that last clip, we got the drivetrain out and we protected it with a bag. And that's where we'll leave you for today. We'll see you guys next time.